ISHR delivers a statement in the name of those human rights defenders whose testimonies this Council is not hearing or will never hear. Their voice is silenced by reprisals or the fear of reprisals for cooperating with the UN. We know the death of Chinese defender Chao Shun Li, disappeared, detained and denied adequate medical treatment. Ms. Shun Li died last Friday. She was seeking to cooperate with this Council. In January, Malaysian authorities pronounced illegal the coalition of Malaysian NGOs for reasons that reportedly included submitting a UPR report. This week, activists in Sri Lanka have been detained on suspicion of providing false information about the human rights situation there to advocates working at this council. The fear of reprisals is deterring engagement. Ahead of this session, we approach an African defender as a possible civil society speaker during the high-level segment. The insight she's gained through her human rights work would have greatly enriched this council debate. This defender declined to be nominated as a speaker for one reason only, for fear of reprisals. Mr. President, engaging with the Council, with the UN, is a right. The UN has stated it cannot operate effectively without the input of civil society. And despite this, reprisals continue. The current system response is inadequate. ISHR warmly welcomes this cross-regional statement made by Botswana and 54 other states, reaffirming their commitment to a more effective and coordinated response to reprisals. This response is essential and overdue. The designation of a high-level focal point per Resolution 2424 is appropriate. We join the calls of the Secretary General and High Commissioner in this regard and urge members of the Council to, urge to work with colleagues at capital level and of the GA to ensure swift action. We ask the President to defend the integrity of this Council by publicly denouncing all cases of reprisals and engage robustly with states where reprisals are alleged in order to seek clarification and assurances of redress and non-repetition. Finally, Mr. Vice President, ICHR continue, considers that any state that condones or is complicit in reprisals against individuals who cooperate with, this UN, with the UN is not worthy of membership of this Council. Thank you.